Ryan, welcome to Wolves. Um, excited to begin a new chapter in your career? Yeah, it's obviously been a couple of weeks um, since since anything has sort of been uh, mentioned and uh, obviously I found out about this uh, quite soon. Um, so it's nice to obviously finally get down and, uh, and sort it, so I was just looking forward to, to a new chapter. Really. What's it like when you obviously you know you're leaving one club and you've got to try and get things sorted elsewhere? Has it been a nervy time for you? Not, not particularly. No, I mean, I found out a week, a week or two before the season had finished, um, and I knew I knew that I'd have options, and, and, and it, it proved to be that. So it was just really a case of me picking sort of not where I want to be, but what club had the had the most ambition and and sort of within what I want to what I want to do so obviously you speak to people that's just the way it goes and uh, I think this club has obviously stood out from for the ambition and, and the way they're going to move forward so that's, that's obviously what stood out to me and something I wanted to be part of. Because you're a good age aren't you I guess and especially for your position so were you always confident you could sort something that actually you wanted to do? Yeah I mean it's obviously hard I mean you, you, I rolled back a year when I was under contract and there was places I could have gone back in the Premier League then which obviously a year later has turned out now that I'm on a free and there was always there was always obviously going to be options there but it's not as simple as that I mean it's going to a club with, with, with an ambition like I said before and this was the first year at Norwich that we've, we've played with no no sort of game of going up or going down and it's one of the worst things I've sort of been around really I mean there was no one in that team that wanted to be sitting in that position and I think that's the ambition that this club has got now and Hopefully we can do that this year and in the season coming up and we want to we want to get promoted and that's that's the ultimate aim. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it and that's the reason I've come here. I don't want to sit and play in the championship really. So mm. that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and try and get promoted this year. That's, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah, it's that expectancy, I guess, that you know full well coming into it because you've mentioned ambition quite a few times. Clearly you have that within you that you're not going to settle for anything less than what you want to achieve. Yeah, I mean, I've done it. I, I've played in the Premiership. And, and that's something that everyone wants to do. I mean, I'm lucky enough to be do it, but I, I want to do it again. And I think you won't speak to anyone who's done it that don't want to do it again. So it was a case of me picking a club that, that sort of wanted to, wanted to match that. And I think speaking to the people that, that run the club and the owners and the, the sort of the people that are coming in, I mean, their ambition is definitely shared. So it's, it's quite a positive time. Really. And I guess you say having been there before as a player gives you that extra incentive to want to get back. Definitely. I mean, sometimes when you're in it, it becomes a bit of a haze. And, I think when you come out of it, you take a step back and look at the picture and you think, yeah, I need, I need to get back there. And, and that's that's the aim of, of everyone. So, like I said, obviously I've joined this club and that's that's my aim that I want to do. So hopefully we can all achieve that. You obviously have experience of game promotions as well. You know that whilst it's easy to say we want to get there, it's a tough thing making that happen. Definitely. I mean, there, there'll, be, there'll be five, six, seven, eight clubs probably saying the same thing that is what I'm still here saying. It, and it is easy to say, but I think... <laughs> You see the, the ambition that, that's going to come out from the club and the things, the way that things are going to move forward, uh, and I think you'll notice that within the first sort of few months of the season, and hopefully you can put a positive spin on the whole, the whole sort of club, and people will start realising that we're not just here talking about it. What's your experience of all this been like before? I've only been here a couple of times, to be honest. Yeah, um, I, I've known a few players who have played here, like Matt Jarvis, Elliot Bennett, and a few people like that. So, and they've had great words to say about it. I mean. They, they loved their time here. I think the times they were here was quite successful as well. So that no one's no one's come back to me and said, "Well, I'll be a bit careful there. I'll be a bit." It's, it's been it's been really positive. And obviously coming here coming here today, seeing the, seeing the place, it's, it's sort of made me realise that, that seeing the, seeing the place and the grounds and the training ground. I mean, the facilities are sort of the best that I'll, I'd have been involved in. So that's another positive thing um, for the club. And hopefully, you said we can take that forward and, and get the club where they need to be. So you've done a bit of homework. In. Yeah, I think I think you've got to. You know, what I mean, like I say I've got four kids as well, so I need to sort out schools and and sort of look at that. So it's all part of it, yeah. And obviously, this seems to be a good fit. And I guess, obviously, having played against them, you'll know a lot of the players who have been here and the exciting potential of what might be happening here this summer as well. Is there's a lot to kind of get involved in. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's exactly one of the main things I said earlier. That I, why I've come here and some of the players that you see you've seen produced here over the last few years has been it's been it's been unbelievable really so hopefully we can keep them players had a few more and hopefully hopefully it will put us in a good stead and we'll, we'll achieve what the whole aim is of the whole club to, to go and get promoted this year so we've mentioned the ambition we've mentioned the target being promotion where do you see yourself by the end of this contract or in the next couple of years what's the personal ambition and the team ambition 
Well, the personal ambition is obviously to get promoted, to play as many games as you can, come in, do well, and obviously that will lead you to different places, and whatever that will be, that will be. And as I say, as a club ambition, the ultimate aim is for us to come in this year, play, get promoted. It's, it's as simple as that. No, how it happens is, it, it doesn't matter really. I mean, that's that's the aim, that's the whole club's aim, and that's what we're going to push to do. And it's got to be exciting, fresh start for you personally, because you've spent a lot of time yeah. in East Anglia, but also for everybody involved in this football club. Yeah, I mean, as I say, I've been I've been at Norwich now for five and a half years, and Sometimes that's too long in football, so it's it's quite nice to actually get out new faces, fresh people to, to sort of impress, and hopefully that's going to it's going to benefit me as well as the other players that are maybe coming in this year, and sort of the players that are already here. So hopefully we can all take a leaf out of that and uh, really push on.